Hello guys, it is Laura and you're watching Laura Xani and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my DVD collection. As you can see behind me I have this white cabinet. This is full to the brim of DVDs. Um, if you have seen my uni haul, which will be linked up here, um, back last year I showed you guys um, this cabinet. Um, and I used it in my second flat, which was the flat last year, not my first flat, which was Willow. My last flat at Alley Court didn't have as much storage as my, as my first flat. So I used this for keeping my um, bath products in because I had a communal shower. But I also sat it next to my bed and it held like notebooks that I was using or books that I was reading that night or chargers or my phone during the night. Um, so it wouldn't fall and I would hear my alarm and I used to set like my drinks in it if I was eating in my room which I did a lot. Um, so yeah I I used that and it was really good and then when I moved back home second semester I had no use for it anymore and I didn't want to throw it out because it was quite a lot of money and it was really really it's really sturdy and it's really good and it's got wheels. So I was trying to think of my best use for it and um I was getting a lot more books and my bookshelf was just getting cluttered with DVDs and books and it was like my bookshelf wasn't my bookshelf anymore. Um, so after I cleared out a lot of my DVDs I decided and took the initiative to use this beautiful white cabinet as my DVD display. So um, that's what this now is used for and I'm going to show you my DVDs. There is a rhyme and reason to quite a few bits of it. Um, to make it easier for me to look for my DVDs. Um, it does make it a lot easier that you're not like scrolling through. Um, I also have a lot of DVDs in um, ca uh, those wee DVD holders. Um, but yeah, and you have seen some of my DVDs um, at the end of my bookshelf tour if you haven't seen that because I do keep my newest DVDs there because this is full or DVDs that I'm, DVDs I'm planning to watch I keep so um let's just get right into okay it. so this is a top shelf I'll tell you the ones that are here that you maybe can't see the Dark Knight Rises 12 Years a Slave I am number four the imitation game finding Neverland and confetti and then here is split scream a clockwork orange horns heathers and Dorian Gray I've just realized that's quite a kind of a darker bit there um, but yeah, um, so all over here if you can see which ones are which, let me know if there's any on here that are your favourite films. Um, but I do have like, there is some rhyme and reason to this, so a lot of it is more kind of newer movies that I got, um, or ones that are maybe like my favourites are kind of here. Um, but like Game of Thrones season 5 should be down below, as should um, Victoria, the complete uh, season 1 and season 2. And, uh, but Game of Thrones and Anna Karenina still are in their packaging because they're very new um, buys. But some of my favourite films on here are The Imitation Game, Heathers, Scream, uh, Wild Target. Maurice is such a good film. It's such an old film. Um, it's Rupert Graves who plays D.I. Lestrade in Sherlock. And that's how I got introduced to this film. But it's also Hugh Grant who I adore. Um, but it's it's just a period piece um, about, you know, being gay back in the, say, early 1900s. I can't... Mm, would you say early 1900s? Probably 1920s, 1930s. Um, and then A Single Man is just exceptional. Colin Firth was robbed of an Oscar for that. Um, it's such an amazing film. He's so amazing in it. Tom Ford um, directing it is just, it's impeccable. That single man's great. Me Before You, I've got a soft spot for that. Um, the Hair Be Fully Loaded, such a soft spot for that. Um, the Other Berlin Girl, Don't Judge, I do actually kind of like it. Um, um, what else? Barbie's Rapunzel, that is just pure nostalgia. I got that, bought myself that for Christmas off of eBay for two pounds. Um, so yeah, there's quite a few films, but there's also quite a few films on here that I haven't seen yet, like Sid and Nancy, Anna Karenina. What else? Horns. I've not finished Dorian Gray yet. Uh, uh, Clockwork Orange, which, as it says, is iconic films. It is an iconic film to watch. Split. I also have National Theatre. If you don't know, I'm a Shakespeare buff. That's why we have Shakespeare in love. Um, but I'm also a period... I love period pieces. Um, so there's four period pieces. But, I mean, Shakespeare in love, I'm terrified to see due to the fact that 
I know it's not true to um, the reality. So the reality is, um, if you don't know, here's a little tidbit, Shakespeare tidbit for you. Um, so the poem, I shall, shall I compare thee to a summer's day that aren't more lovely and more temperate, that is Sonnet 18. Now the first 17 sonnets were commissioned by a young man's family to push the young man to go and get a wife and Shakespeare had to write the sonnets for him. Turns out Shakespeare then fell in love with that young man and therefore wrote Sonnet 18. So there you go, that is why um, I know that much. And then that young man then ran off with his mistress, the one that was in my mistress, his eyes are nothing like the sun. That one, I think Sonnet 180, um, the young man then ran off with that one. So funny little tidbit. But yeah, so this is a top shelf. A lot of these are gifted to me uh, at birthdays and Christmas. Um, a lot of them I just bought on a whim um, off of e uh, Amazon and then some of them are actually from CX, which is a shop that you can get secondhand tech and stuff like that. So that is okay, the so this shelf. is the second shelf. It's a bit harder to see, but it's a lot less um, DVDs in this bit. So over here I have uh, Pride and Prejudice, the full series with Colin Firth, um, the original Mr Darcy, Our Girl, uh, Most Haunted Season 9, Most Haunted Season uh, 14, no 11. Is it 14? I don't know. <laughs> uh, For Sci Saga, Fargo, The Night Manager, Sherlock Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, The Abominable Bride and Season 4. The Last Enemy Parades End, Downton Abbey, Game of Thrones Season 1-4, to four, Torchwood Season 1-4 to four, and all eight Harry Potter films are there. And at the back we have House Bunny, A Cinderella Story Collection, Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, The Duff, What's Your Number? And then over here we have um, Our Lips Are Sealed, Mary Kate and Ashley, Jonas Brothers CD um, Edition, uh, Hannah Montana Pumping Up the Party, which has the me and Mr. Jonas, Mr. Jonas and Mr. Jonas episode, and then Lord of the Rings, uh, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers and The Return of the King. Um, so that's more a lot of um, series and box sets here. Um, of course, my favourite has got to be Sherlock and Torchwood and obviously Harry Potter. Um, but yeah, so this is where I keep a lot of the kind of series. Also, if you've never watched The Last Enemy, go watch it. It's amazing. Robert Carlyle, Bendit Cumberbatch. It's a banging thing. And of course, Parade's End is also another period piece with Bendit Cumberbatch and Rebecca Hall. So good, as well as obviously Downton Abbey. And that's just series two. I've not seen Lord of the Rings yet. Um, obviously, it's a kind of a kind of nostalgic bit back here. Jonas Brothers, Hannah Montana and Mary Kate and Ashley, as well as like a Cinderella story. And um, one of the best films here that I have actually film wise is um, not not Jumanji, funny enough, it's such a good film, but The Duff. You should watch it if you've never seen The Duff, it's such a good film. So yeah, this is more kind of my um, series and Fargo as well is so, so good. I bought that and it was so also the night manager is just so good. They're all so good and I have not seen for size saga. Again, a lot of these are from CEX or Amazon. The Sherlock one came in a box set, which I took the box out. Um, and a lot of them was like, that was gifted. I bought myself Harry Potter, that was gifted to my birthday, I think my 16th. Um, and then this was uh, Game of Thrones, which I was gifted for Christmas a couple of years ago. Um, so yeah, it's a lot of kind of it's a lot, but yeah, that's the second show. So I'm going to apologise ahead of time for my shakiness because I'm going to hand, help, hand hold this. So at the back, what you can't see here in the last shelf is the judge, the atonement, the duchess, the queen, the dark knight, Star Trek Into Darkness, Getaway, Avengers Assemble, Sherlock Holmes, uh, Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadow and The Mummy. And then over here, we have quite a few comedies. So this is kind of comedies. Um, and then we've got obviously got some um, historical dramas. Um, some of my favourite across here, we have Just My Luck, Clueless, Spring Breakers, Perks Being a Wallflower, Blades of Glory, Arthur, which is the Russell Brand version, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Did You Hear About the Morgans, The Bling Ring, Nativity, The Last King of Scotland, What We Did in Our Holiday, Black Swan, Start for Ten, Valentine's Day, Poltergeist, Jennifer's Body, Leap Year, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Les Mis, Moulin Rouge, Sweeney Todd, Annie, Fifty Shades of Grey, Alfie, the um, Jude Law version and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. So it's a lot of kind of comedy and then of course we have our little bit of musicals over here. So I think some of my favourite 
movies over here is probably The Mummy, one of my all-time favourites. Of course, The Avengers, big fan. Star Trek Into Darkness, big fan. Um, Blades of Glory, one of the best films of all time, let's not lie. Um, such a great film, as is Clueless. Did You Hear About the Morgans? I love that. What We Did in Our Holiday, so good. Black Swan, the less I say about that the better, but I do love that. Start for Ten, Poltergeist, Jennifer's Body, of course, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Les Mis, Moulin Rouge and Romeo and Juliet, Sweeney Todd, my favourite musical of all time. And of course we have Annie over here. Um, if you don't know, my birth name is Annie. If you don't know, I'm adopted. Where have you been your this whole time um yeah so my birth name is Annie and now that means shit to me <laughs> this film I hate but I still have it as a pure like nostalgia thing of course 50 shades of grey I don't know why this is down here but oh well um but there's a few films in here that I haven't seen yes I've never seen Nativity don't judge I only bought it because Martin Freeman's in it do not judge it. I've never seen it The Last King of Scotland one of my favorite films is on here that I've not talked about and I don't talk about it enough I don't actually tell people that I, about it. It's Leap Year which has met Matthew Good and Amy Adams and it's one of the best romantic comedies I have ever did see. Um, so yeah, that's it. And of course, Perks of Being a Wallflower. Of course, Ezra Miller, Emma Watson. Um, the Queen. I really enjoy The Queen. As I said, I'm really good and I really love um, period pieces. But this is a banging film. And I don't know why The Dark Knight's here and The Dark Knight Rises is up there. God only knows. The Judge is also very good. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is amazing. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, so that was my DVD collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please join me on Friday for my review of the new Grinch film with Benedict Cumberbatch. By the time, the time I'm filming it, it's a couple of days until I go see it. And I am so freaking excited to go see it. I cannot wait. And I will see you guys again with a new video. See you then. Bye.